So in this problem, we're going to find the area of a sector, and they're telling us some information about this circle, right? Um, it says that we're going to have to find the area of a sector with the diameter, and, and the circle has a diameter of 10 feet, and the sector has an angle here of pi over 2 radians. So what we're going to do first is draw a circle, okay? Then we're going to draw our vertical and horizontal axes. Now, since they're giving me the angular measurement in radians, I'm going to plug in my radian measures here. Zero, you know this is 1 half pi right, or pi over 2 radians, this is then pi radians, and this is then 3 pi over 2. Okay, and all these are in terms of radians, radian, 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 radian. So it wants, so first, what is the uh, sector they're talking about? Well, they say, they're telling us the angle of pi over 2 radians. So what that means is that if you had to draw out, or the angle, Right, and you start it over here on the positive x, which you always do. Since it's positive, we're rotating around counterclockwise, and we have to get to pi over 2 radians, which is oh, right there. Okay, So this right here represents pi over 2 radians. Pi over 2 radians. Okay. Now, this is the sector that's enclosed by these two radii. This is the area we're looking for. Okay. So what you can do here is you can first do a couple of things. You could realize that, well, this is a quarter of the circle. And I know how to find the full area of a circle, right? Area of a full circle is simply equal to pi r squared. And for this problem, since it is only a quarter of a circle, the area of a quarter of a circle will simply be pi r squared over 4, right? Because you got to divide it into four pieces. So that would work out beautifully. You could definitely do it that way. The other way you can do it is kind of use this formula, that this is represents the area of a sector, okay? And this will be equal to pi r squared multiplied then by the measured angle, which is basically the given angle, okay? Divided then by, since we're in talking about radians, we're dividing it then by 2 pi, because that's the radian measure of a full circle. So basically I'm saying this is like saying part over the whole. It's like saying pi over 2 over 2 pi. Okay, that's going to give you the uh, the fraction. If this was in uh, degrees, all you would have done was get rid of the 2 pi and plug in the 360 down there. That's literally the only difference. Okay, so it's nice and easy to remember. So here the area of a sector will be equal to pi then multiplied by the radius and by the way, did they tell us the radius? Well, they didn't, but they told us the diameter. So here, take a look at the circle. The diameter represents that whole length from one end of the circle to the other. And you know then that the radius represents half of that from the center then to the edge of the circle. So that should be then 5 feet, right, if the full diameter is 10. So what you're going to do now is you're going to take that 5 feet value and square it because that's the radius. And then you're going to multiply that by the measured angle. So here it is. The measured angle is pi over 2. And you're going to divide that whole thing now by 2 pi. All right. So now the math looks a little crazy there, but don't worry. It's very simple. So the area of a sector will now be 5 squared, which is 25. 25 pi multiplied now by what we're going to do is we're going to take the numerator and multiply it by the reciprocal of the denominator. So remember this denominator fraction or this denominator could really be written as 2 pi over 1. So in other words, I can take the numerator fraction of pi over 2 and then multiply it by the reciprocal of that denominator, 1 over 2 pi. And what happens to the pi's? Well, they go bye-bye. And then what's what, what does this fraction work out to be? Well, this is just 1 on the top, and I didn't cancel that 2. The 2 is still there, and that's 4 on the bottom. Wait a minute, that's 1 fourth, right? Wait a minute, 1 fourth, if I take that value and I multiply it by this, isn't that the same thing as simply just saying pi r squared over 4? Yes, and that's exactly what we said before. That's the whole point. Okay, So simply now multiply this all out. So this is basically now 25 pi, 25 pi all over 4. And the units here are going to be feet squared. Now you can, if you wanted to, plug this into the calculator and get a decimal answer, because you're like, what the heck is 25 pi over 4 feet, squared feet, right? Uh, so just take 25, multiply it by pi, and then divide it by 4. And this works out to be about 19, 19.6, all right? 
19.6 squared feet or feet squared. And that's it, guys. All right. Hopefully that helps. I look forward to helping you with more problems, and I'll see you in the next one. All right. Take care.